happy to discuss the program book photo, okay? As your program book photo is due of February 1st, okay? If you have not yet submitted your photo, you should have received an email um, earlier tonight reminding you to submit your photo by February 1st. Um, the earlier you submit it, the better. Um, for me, really, that is what it's all about, is it earlier I can see it and, you know, maybe chat with you if, if I think something's wrong in your photo and things like that. If everyone submits their photo on February 1st, it does make it a little bit harder, especially if I think, um, you know, when we go to crop the photo, something's going to be odd. I still will let you know, but um, it's just easier and nicer for me and gives me a little bit more time to look at the photos if you do it before February 1st, okay? So try and get it done this week or the weekend. It's really easy, guys, to submit the photo. You just have to go to the website um, under the convention information or, wait, sorry, it's under, yeah, convention information. It's called the program book submission form. And you click there, there's a password that you need to use. And we send this password in every email that we send out about this, okay? So check your emails, because it's in there. It's also case sensitive. So you're gonna type in our password, and then it's really easy. It's a form, you put your contestant name in, you put the division that you're in, and then you upload your photo, okay? Then once it comes to me, um, then once it gets to our side, we do let you know when we have received the photo. Please be patient as we do get a lot of photos in at once, so it does take us a few days to get through all of the photos. So you might not hear from us for a day or two, especially if it's over a weekend, you definitely won't hear from us then. Um, but do be aware that you do get an email back from us letting us know that we have submitted your, that we have received your photo, okay? Um, <clears throat> there are size requirements on our website. Um, those are to keep in mind uh, one thing that I like to say about that is you have to remember these headshots for the program book is mainly focused on your face, okay? When we go to put them into our program book, it's honestly like this of your face, okay? That's what we're cropping. So when you send me a picture that's a full body picture, like your whole body and it's a nice big picture and then you try to make it down to our size, you're now like cutting out, you're making everything smaller where I want you to kind of crop it in on your face only. Um, to send it to me, okay? Um, I had a question today about the JPEG or TIFF. How do you make your photo that? Chances are, if you are sending me a photo, it is either JPEG or TIFF. To be honest, it's probably that. Um, to make it that if it's not, depends on your computer system or how you're using it. But if you go to export, um, there's normally an option there to switch it to a JPEG or a TIFF or something like that, okay? Um, we want it to be high res. We don't want it super pixely. So if you are cropping down your photo and you're noticing it like really pixely, um, you know, shoot me a message and I can let you know, um, hey, yeah, your photo is a little bit distorted. Do you have the original? And then I can always, um, try and help you crop it a bit. Okay. Um, or kind of inform you more about how to resize it. Cause I know that is a hard thing to do. Yes, so, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, we your contestant name, your division, or the contestant's division, and then the photo is what you would submit. Um, that's super important because our program book is divided um, according to division, and your division is based on your age. So someone asked me today, how do you know what division you're in? Uh, pretty much, it's it's fairly simple. Uh, we have child four to seven, so if you are four or, se or to seven, so four, five, six, seven, your child four to seven, if you're child 8 to 11, you'd be child 8 to 11. If you are female 12 to 15 years old, you would be female 12 to 15. If you are female 16 to 19, you would be female 16 to 19. If you are female 20 plus, so over 20 and a female, you'd be in female 20 plus. Um, if you are male 12 plus, you'd be in male 12 plus. And then we have our talent and actors, and that's for 12 plus. So this could be male or female, go into talent. Um, I've had a few photos being submitted, um, putting them in more of their age category. So it would be maybe like a female 20 plus would put, mark their photo as female 20 plus. And then when I go to actually check, you've actually selected the talent division. So really make sure that if you remember, if you're in the talent, if you had picked talent division for right away to make sure you make your photo talent division. Okay. Or what's going to happen is I'm going to have to email you and be like, Oh, which division did you want to be in? Or I'm just going to make a decision for you. Big difference between um, 
like the age and the age divisions and talent is talent is mainly when you're going for acting competitions. You're not in really any modeling competitions. You're mainly going for acting, maybe doing photography, but everything else is pretty much acting is what you're going for. You're going to want to be in the talent division. Um, if you're going for like acting or like singing and dance, like that's kind of where you're showcasing, I would go in the talent division. If you're going more for modeling competitions, um, and even still if you're doing some singing and dancing within the modeling, that's fine. But I would, if you're mainly going for modeling, doing runway, swimsuit, um, cover, photo, then I would stay within your age division and not go in talent, okay? Um, it is... The photo can be natural or with makeup. Again, remember we want to showcase you, so um, not too, too much makeup. Again, the photos are in black and white. You are more than welcome to send me a colored photo, but make note in your mind that that photo is going to be black and white. So sometimes you guys have sent me a few photos where the lighting isn't necessarily amazing on it, and then I think to myself, I even attempt to make it black and white. Like sometimes I'll take the photo and I'll bring it in my Instagram. And you know how you can like filter through your Instagram and I filter to a black and white photo. I'm like, yeah, what happens is, is like you can barely see the features of that person's face anymore because the lighting was so bad. So then I'll, I normally message you back. I'm saying like, hey, once I turn this photo black and white, like it, it's not going to represent you anymore. So really make sure that, yes, you can send me a colored photo. That's totally fine. We make it black and white on our side, but note that we make it black and white. Okay. So if you are adding makeup and stuff, note that it's going to be in black and white and and that you want to make sure if you are adding makeup into your picture that it works. It's adding depth and enhancing your features. And it's not there to like make the photo look necessarily better. Um, that you are just more or less like using the makeup to enhance your already amazing features. Okay. Um, so yeah, so when you register for CMTC, there's always um, your, there's two sections. It always says like your current age and then your age as of convention, which is in May, okay? And we base it on the age that you are at convention. So if you are turning 16 before May 8th, and you put on that you are turning 16, you would be in the female 16 to 19 category, okay? So definitely make sure, guys, that you are in the right category. So it really is based on your age at convention, okay? Um... Uh, yeah, pretty much um, in your event registration email that you would get as soon as you register for CMTC, um, it tells you what division you selected in there. So I would check that, okay? Um, it's up to you. You actually, you, whoops, you pick your own division. Sorry, everyone. I just did something. Sorry. I was trying to scroll and I hit something. Um, you actually pick your division when you registered. So if you registered under talent, then that's what you're registered for. Um, if you registered under the age cat division, then that's what you're registered for. Um, people just often ask me, what is the talent division? Like, what's the difference between the talent division and the age division? And that's how we kind of base it is like talent is more that you're going towards more acting competitions. Grant you, as an actor, you can definitely go into the photography competition because you would just use like your headshot photos um, as it's a great showcase option. But uh, we do like to let you know that that's what the difference is between talent and that. So um, think about it at home and, you know, you can always send me an email at registration at cmtc.ca and ask me, hey, um, I found out I was in this division, but I think I want to switch to this one instead and we can work on that as well. Okay. Ugh. Uh -oh, I think I'm going to switch again. Okay. Um, you can no longer apply to uh, for CMTC 2019. You can still apply online on our website at cmtc.ca for um, to audition for CMTC 2020. And we audition for CMTC 2020 in um, summer fall of CMTC tw of uh, 2019. Okay. But you can no longer go to convention. Okay. Um, the pictures do not have to be professional. They can be off your phone. I just recommend that you don't take a selfie. You have someone else take the photo for you. Um, amazing, Annie. I'm so glad that you did the filter. It really does, like, I think make a difference once you go into black and white. Um, you can take amazing, beautiful colored photo and then turn it black and white and you're like, what's going on? So definitely, I think doing that. 
Um, like I said, definitely doesn't have to be professional, guys. You can take it with your iPhone. Um, you can take it with just a regular camera if you want. Um, again, like I say, try not to do so much of a selfie because when you do a selfie, like see how my arms are moving forward? My shoulders are coming up, right? And I can kind of see that in the photos. So, and you look a little bit more tense. And sometimes when you're trying to take a selfie, your camera phone is blocking the light. So then what happens is you end up with a, um, like a phone mark on your face out of the shadows. Um, so don't take a selfie, have someone take your photo for you or set it up on like a self timer. Um, I've definitely done that totally for Instagram before. I've thought, wow, that's a really cool area. I'm gonna wanna take my picture there and I've set up myself like a little self timer and then I go and take the picture. Um, so you can do that as well. Um, your photo does not have to be black and white when you submit it. Um, it can be in color, we make it black and white. All the photos in the program book are black and white. Yep. Um, yep, totally fine. Um, again, guys, it's really up to you with what you're really going for um, for the divisions. I'm just trying to explain it because I find I get that question a lot. If you're in female 16 to 19, then stay in female 16 to 19. It's a good category. Um, if you're doing both modeling and acting, guys, you're going to stay in your age category, not so much talent. Um, I would recommend that your child does not wear glasses in the photo. Um, if you could, like, not have the glasses on. Because um, sometimes you get a weird reflection. Um, and, and yeah, like... Uh, in this industry, yes, like you're going to want to have pictures of your kid in glasses and not in glasses, especially if they can see with not glasses on, um, because they might get booked for something where they get booked without the glasses, right? So you want to show the diversity. So I recommend without the glasses, just because when you do try to take a picture, um, especially if, if you're not a professional photographer, um, oftentimes what will happen is you'll see some weird reflections in the glasses. A lot of times professionals um, are able to work the lighting so that you don't get the glare on the glasses, but um, I would recommend without, unless it's like super, like that's their trademark, then maybe, but again, you really want to show their face, their features, and not so much their accessory or their need to view, viewing glasses. Um... Uh, CMTC is great for both models, actors, singers, and dancers. Uh, we have agents that come for all four. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't done, I saw that uh, question, it was coming to it. I haven't done advice for all competitions yet. Um, I'm trying to do it as things are kind of coming in. Um, mainly I focused on the runway competition because that is something you can practice at home. I have mainly talked about TV commercial because, again, that's something that you prepare before you get to CMTC. And I have talked about photography go see competition because, again, that is something that you need to prepare for to uh, have to bring with you at CMTC. Same with cover and commercial print. Um, some of the other ones, I think I talk about singing and dance next week. Um, other than that, um, some of them are just as they're kind of coming up. And then I do recaps again on all the competitions. Um, so I haven't done advice on all the competitions yet, but some of them I can't give you advice because the scripts don't get released until April 1st. So it's hard for me to give you advice on things that you guys can't really even figure out, like you guys don't have access to. So I haven't given advice on everything yet. I'm just trying to go as things are kind of due. So today, what we're really focusing on is your program book photo, which is your headshot. Yeah, the photo would just be a headshot. Yeah, I'm focusing mainly on the face. Um, okay, so I just want to explain before I answer the rest of the question why the program book is so important, okay? Um, I've been doing CMTC for 10 years and I cannot stress enough how important it is to have your photo in the program book, okay? So what happens is every agent, casting director, judge, um, producer, everyone that we fly in for CMTC gets a program book, okay? And every contestant gets a program book and every visitor gets a program book, okay? Lots of people get these program books. And what happens is in the program book, it's divided by categories, by the age categories, the divisions, and it will be your photo, a picture of you, and underneath it, your contestant number and your name. 
okay? So maybe you're walking through the hallway and an agent's walking by and they're like, <gasps> and you're wearing your contestant number and they're like, ooh, 107, that's a really cool looking kid. They're gonna go to their program book and they're gonna go, 107, wow, look at the picture. I like this kid. Circle it, maybe they'll write a little note like, Solomon in the hallway, uh, wanna see what he does on the runway. They might make themselves a little note, okay? Um, and then in the end, what happens is they use all their notes from the weekends and then they, they focus on their callbacks or who they wanna meet or talk to more. So it really is important that you do have your photo in the program book. Um, and so you definitely wanna make sure you have your photo to us by February 1st. If you do not have your photo in to us by February 1st, there is no guarantee that you end up in the program book. If you get it to us after February 1st, there, you might not end up in the program book, okay? So you wanna make sure, like I'm gonna guarantee it that you won't be in the program book if you send it to us after February 1st. The other way that you don't make it in the program book is if you do not pay your balance off by March 1st. So if you do not pay your balance off by March 1st, then you also do not end up in the program book. So one, you won't end up in the program book if you do not get us our photos, your photos by February 1st. And two, you won't end up in the program book if your balance is still outstanding by March 1st. Then we just, we won't put you in the program book, okay? Um, we announced this right from the very beginning, guys, so it really is important that you understand uh, why you need to do what you do to ensure that you're in the program book, okay? Uh, the program book is like such a great way to promote yourself to everybody without really having to do much. <laughs> like everybody gets to see you in the program book and every competition and every, um, like the agents carry these books everywhere they go. And they take these program books home with them, like back to their agencies, back to their countries where they're from and they go through the program book with the rest of their team and they might be like yeah I really like this person but someone else on their team might be like oh, who's this person and then they're like oh my god who is this person and then want to like call you back like while they're back overseas or whatever or back in LA or New York or back in Toronto and Montreal so the program book is not only your like a huge promotion for you like promoting material at CMTC it's also a huge promotional material for after CMTC because everyone holds on to their program books, okay? So really, really important that you submit your photo by February 1st and that it is a nice photo of your face. I recommend not to really have your hands on your face unless it's like a really like noticeable hand. Um, but like uh, some one photo like maybe that I got was like this. Well, chances are by the time I crop this photo, I'm gonna crop it here, okay? And look at what, like, if that's weird. My, you just see one random finger. Like, where is that finger coming from? Is that someone else's hand? What's going on? So really think that through. So try not to do it, okay? Try not to put your hands on your face um, unless it, like, would be more like this. And at the same time, I really want to see your face. So I don't want to see, like, your hand. I want to see you. I want to see you. I don't want to see your hand. We're not really looking for hand models. We're looking for face, faces, okay? We're looking for this right here, okay? Um, in general, because I keep getting this question about photos, you need one photo for the program book that you submit beforehand. You can definitely print this photo out and bring it with you and put it in like some sort of portfolio for at CMTC so that you have, again, more promotional material to showcase yourself at CMTC. Um, again, you also need a photo for cover and commercial print, and you should have one copy to hand in and an extra copy to put in your portfolio. You also need two photos for photography competition that can also go in your portfolio. So that's a great start to a portfolio there. Again, you can get portfolios at like Michael's, Walmart. You can use a binder, whatever works, something, an iPad to like put your pictures on there if you don't want to print them. Um, that's fine. However, remember for the competitions, cover, commercial print, you do have to hand a print in, so you can't hand in your iPad. Photography go see. You can't hold two iPads. You have to hold two photos. So you still need two printed photos for that, okay? Um, yes, please crop down the photo to the required measurements. Um, and then the, it helps me for sure. Um, if I notice it's it's not great quality anymore because of how you cropped it, I'll definitely let you know, okay? But do if you know how to crop it, crop it, please. Um, if you don't, um, let me know and I can try and walk you through it. 
Um, you can be smiling or you don't have to be smiling. I just wouldn't look angry. Like, um, you want to look inviting. You want to look like, oh, that person looks like they'd be fun or like that they're really nice. They'd be fun on set or whatever it is. Okay. Like they'd be nice on set. If you're really angry in the photo, that's just what they're going to see. Yeah. If you took a beautiful selfie, go for it. Send that in. Um, I can't. So that's why I think I recommend not to do it. But I definitely know that there's people out there that can take beautiful selfies. Um, and so if you don't think that you have like weird shoulders in it and like you've taken into account all the lighting, then definitely send me a selfie. I am not like, I'm not going to not take your selfies like, um, because they definitely, there's beautiful selfies out there. Um, yeah, if you're smirking, that's great. Yep. Um, the requirements are all online because it's a weird size. I couldn't really even tell you. Um, but the requirements are all in the submission form. I would definitely smile. Uh, you don't have to though. But you could be smirking more. Just don't be angry. Yes, please only send me one photos, guys. <laughs> Try and make the decision yourself at home. Um... Uh, again, all the requirements are on the submission form, and we send it out multiple times through email. So the requirements are posted everywhere, guys. Uh, your child, I would register them under their age category. Not uh, If they're doing everything modeling, acting, singing, then definitely under their age category. Uh, you can know, you can't log into your accounts, guys. Uh, you just have to send me an email and I can I can let you know. Also, everything was sent to you in your event registration confirmation email, okay? Um, I did talk about cover and commercial print last week, um, and it is on our YouTube page, and I did send them out in email. I would look there for that information, um, as I'm not going to really talk about that tonight, because it's more about the headshot. Um, you need to pay your remaining balance by March 1st. You can switch your competitions up until March 1st. Um, you can add and switch. You cannot remove. Uh, commercial print. I'm not going to explain again tonight, guys. Sorry. I'm just going to be talking about headshot photos. You can definitely wear an off-the-shoulder top for your program book photo. You can take it on your phone. Yep. Your photos can be on your phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, perfect. Thanks for whoever answered that question. Smiling or not smiling, just not angry. So if you want to change your name and that's what you want it to be in the program book, like your real name is something and you want to have a name for your actor or modeling, um, definitely let us know. Um, send us an email. Let us know that you want to change your name because how you registered is how it's going to show up in the registration in the program book. Um, even if you send me the name differently attached to your photo, it's based off of your registration name when you registered. So if you want to change your name for the program book, you need to let me know. Like I know some of you, maybe your uh, your name is like um, Alexandra and you go by Allie. Well, if you don't tell me that you want it to be Allie in the program book, I'm going to be putting Alexandra, Okay. Um, so definitely let me know. Um, the sponsors are listed on the sponsor page, not under your photo. Uh, the balance that you owe is due on March 1st. Um, it's all done. When you're resizing images, guys, it's all done like in the formatting part. Okay. Uh, uh, yep, selfie stick works. I like it. Um, if you're sending maybe not a JPEG or a TIFF, you're sending maybe like a PDF. Um, I can see maybe that not working because it does need to be a JPEG or a TIFF. Um, so yeah, so that's for the headshot photo for the program book. Uh, you just, you just 
submit it and that's it. <laughs> Sorry, so hopefully you submit the right one. Um, um, this video hopefully will go up on Facebook on Friday. Hopefully. Um, I think I might have a technical issue here, but hopefully it saves recording-wise. Um, some of the events are closed to visitors and parents because it represents exactly what happens in our industry. Um, so casting for a lot of our acting competitions, they're closed. They're just in with the judges, and that's exactly what happens in an, um, at a real audition. Like, you're not going to go in with your child for an audition. Um, they go in by themselves, and they need to perform by themselves. So that's why we do it. We, we make this as close to industry standard as possible. Um, and again, for cover and commercial print, it's solely based on the photo. So if you were standing in the room or there was parents in the room, parents are going to be like, why aren't you picking my kid? Or like, why did you give my kid that? So that's why that competition is closed. Um, and the acting ones are more because they are the standard way that they are. Um... <laughs> All right. Doesn't matter if you submit your photo in color or you submit your photo in black and white. It's totally up to you. Like I said, I try to like make it black and white beforehand just to make sure it looks good still. Um, I feel like I'm answering the same questions here, guys, that you guys keep asking. So again, I'm just going to make it real simple. Your program book photo, your headshot photo, same thing. Due February 1st. It goes in the program book. It's super important. It's your best promotional tool. Um, agents keep it after CMTC and go through it. Um, they might see you in the halls, select you, look at your photo in the program book. So it's really important to be in the program book. Um, ways that you cannot be in the program book is that if you do not submit your photo by February 1st, if you submit it after February 1st, not going to be in the program book. So February 1st, submit your photos or before then or before February 1st. Um, give yourself some leeway. Maybe like there's something happens, like do it before February 1st. Um, and second way that you don't end up in the program book is if you do not pay your balance off by March 1st. So you want to pay, you want to do that. Um, if you're not in the program book, you still have a contestant number, just no picture in the program book. Um, I recommend more natural makeup over heavy makeup in your photos. You want the focus more to be on your face, so try to keep hands away. Try not to be looking away like this, things like that, okay? Um... Some other important things to keep in mind, guys, just upcoming notes. This is your next due date. February 1st is your next due late date, date. After that, it's March 1st, okay? These are two big dates to keep in mind. February 1st is your program book. March 1st is your um, balance is due, okay? After that, April 1st is when the scripts for self-tape and TV and film get released, okay? Those are your three major dates that you really want to keep in mind, okay? Um, but right now guys, I really do want to focus on the program book photos as I have been receiving them and I want to say I have like 20% <laughs> of the photos have come in, okay? And you guys have like less than a week um, to get your program book photos in. So this is a big concern of mine that um, you guys aren't understanding the importance of the program book photo. It is so important to have a program book photo, okay? So please take one. They don't have to be professional. You can take one on your phone. You can do a selfie if you do beautiful selfies. Um, make sure it's great lighting. Um, don't give me you're in a dark corner type of photo, okay? Um, don't over edit it and over filter it because then it kind of looks pixely and it doesn't look great quality anymore. Um, email any questions, guys, that you're not 100% sure what's going on, you don't know what competitions you're in, you're, you're just kind of overly confused. Sometimes that happens or you want to make a change and you don't know how to do it. Honestly, email registration at cmtc.ca and I will be glad to help you. Or you can give me a call or you can email me at info at cmtc.ca or on the website there's all types of types of forms where it's like make a request, add a, ch add a competition, change something. You can go there, fill out the form on there too. I get it. I see it. I will answer you. Um, honestly, guys, though, it, it's really easy to get a hold of me. Don't feel that you're not going to get a hold of me. I'm, I'm, I'm here all the time. Um, you can definitely get a hold of me. I will answer all of your emails. Um, it might take me a bit sometimes to get through everything, but I do get through it all, and I do respond to every email um, and voicemail and phone call and everything like that. So definitely feel free to give me a call. If you like, we send all of this information, again, all of our emails and everything, every Friday, every email that we send out to you guys, and I know we send a lot of emails, but every email that we send you, 
we definitely have all this information in there, so we are very easy to get a hold of somehow, okay? Um, so uh, how to make it a JPEG or a TIFF, if you go to export in your PDF, and then in export it will ask you like what type of like format it is, and drop down and pick either JPEG or TIFF, okay? Um, anyone else have any other questions? Awesome. So I see that some of you are answering my questions for me. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome because I can't keep up with all your questions. <laughs> um, so like I said, the scripts for self-tape and uh, uh, TV and film come out April 1st. Hi, Cindy. Um, we'll talk about wardrobe later on. Um, the book takes a really long time to make. That's a great question. The book honestly takes a really long time to put together. Um, there's lots of information that goes in there. Um, like your sponsors aren't due until, um, March 1st. Um, every photo needs to be kind of like cropped and edited and made sure that it's, it's great. Um, so yeah, we do make sure it's the February 1st deadline because we really do start putting in contestants and we have to start numbering you and things like that. And so that's all based on the program book. So it does take some time. So you might be in the program book because you got your photo in by February 1st and then come March 1st, you haven't paid your balance, then you just get removed from the program book. So, um, it's really important to make sure that you're doing it because our program book is like it takes like it takes a long time to put together um so yeah there's a lot of information that needs to go into it and especially like we don't get our sponsors from everybody until March 1st so there's that stuff as well awesome um mm -hmm. 